Welcome back to 3D Dialogue. I'm Jesse Hirsch. Who are the Nihang Sikhs, also known as the Nihang Singhs? They are a semi-nomadic people who belong to a martial tradition begun by the 10th guru of the Sikhs, Guru Gobind Singh. Their way of life, style of dress, and weaponry has changed little since the guru's lifetime, 300 years ago. And they are most well known for maintaining and training in the Punjabi martial art known as Gatka. Today, some Punjabis see them as a symbol of a time long past. But others say the Nihangs are a colorful and important part of Punjabi heritage. Here to tell us about the Nihang Sikhs and Gatka is Jaswinder Singh, a Nihang Sikh and Gatka instructor at Spahid Baba Deep Singh Akara. Thanks for coming in today. You're welcome. Now, why don't we start a bit in terms of the origins of where the Nihang Sikhs come from and sort of why they have maintained the tradition up to this day? Well, the cause of their, um, I guess, upbringing was because of the non-violent movement that went through, uh, or the movements that mm -hmm. went through India at that time, basically forced people to let go of their martial heritage and arms because mm -hmm. of they were into um, the ahimsa notion of peace and mm -hmm. uh, so on. And therefore, you had a lot of persecutors, tyrants, you had... Uh, sort of created opportunities for tyrants to rise because right, be there was no means to stand up to them. Right, because as you know, India was a very rich culture, or a rich nation in its natural resources. Mm -hmm. A lot of gold, a lot of oil, a lot of other other precious metals and so on. So mm -hmm. you had people coming from the Middle East and you had people coming from up north to, to grab all these all these precious metals and uh, natural resources. And uh, therefore, basically, the 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 average layman of the country had forgotten to mm -hmm. to defend its honor mm -hmm. therefore it was up to the 10th guru to to uh, basically revive this martial notion that had forgotten mm -hmm. uh, in, in india so therefore the nihangs came in, in into existence and and when you say martial i mean i also assume that it generally it's the notion of self defense rather than an offense it's yes, more it's, defending it's, one's rights rather than trying to impose them upon others. Is that right. correct? Right. Uh, a Nihang Sikh, uh, a Sikh in general, is not supposed to, or is not to attack for its personal gains and personal means. It is only for the form of self-defense. Mm -hmm. And as certainly I've learned about the Sikh tradition, it's not only the self-defense of Sikhs, but the self-defense of others. Is that correct? That's very correct. Uh, the number one duty of a Nihang Sikh or a Sikh is to protect and serve humanity. I mean, just generally speaking, if there's somebody on the, on the street who's being robbed or a lady who is being, uh, I guess, threatened to by other people, uh, it is your duty to go and help her or him, mm -hmm. uh, regardless of what caste, creed, religion you are. It is your duty to serve humanity. And it is said that in serving your humanity, if you were to die and, and your life would be gone, you are to be saved in salvation. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, we're talking about, the, in terms of the founding of the Nihang Sikh, something that happened several hundred years ago, and yet today there are still many such as yourself who practice. Can you tell me a bit more about how it survived over all this time and how it's become really an active part of the Sikh community? Um, to say in, in, in modern society, you wouldn't find people wearing what I'm wearing right now. In fact, you wouldn't find me wearing this every day of my life either. Mm -hmm. it's, it's basically, I wear this uh, when we're either performing or when, uh, when we're giving a demonstration or talking about Nihang Sikhs. The, the Nihang Sikhs in India, are, they live a nomadic lifestyle. They mm -hmm. move from, from city to city, from place to place to village to village, to preaching the, the, the word of Guru Nanak. They don't carry any, any I guess, vital possessions uh, because they, are, they, are, they have no liking to uh, capital, mm -hmm. money. They don't... No material no trappings. Material, that's correct. There's, there's no, materialis no, no materialism mm -hmm. in, their, in their ideology. So... Mm -hmm. um, they are not considered in mainstream because of, the, of that particular reason. Mm -hmm. And you have you know, political people coming in, you, the dress has changed to become more modern, uh, the layman person. But uh, they, they live basically a nomadic lifestyle in India. Mm -hmm. And yet it's interesting, you know, yourself here in the West, you mentioned that not every day you'd wear this particular outfit, yet it's still important in terms of, I guess, remembering or reaffirming the tradition within the community? Yes, uh, there are some people um, in, in my generation who have adapted this type of dress every day. Mm -hmm. uh, those people go to school, work in, the, in this type of lifestyle. Um, I, I don't because uh, I, you know, I'm a student. I go in and out. I, I was just basically born and raised here, so I have a, 
a, a different dress code. So mm -hmm. I, I only wear this basically for ceremonial reasons. And but you know, is it certainly safe to assume that the the message or the ethic of the Nihang Sikh is something that you carry with you every day and at all definitely. moments? Definitely. My five Ks are always with me. I have a turban on all the time. The necessities of our, I guess, uh, ideology is always with me. I have the ideology of... Uh, you know, protecting and serving humanity. It could be something simple like holding a door for somebody or picking mm -hmm. up their pen mm -hmm. with any, just going out of your way and doing it. On a, on, a, on a macro level, it will be, I guess, uh, serving or participating in movements that need social or human rights. Mm -hmm. uh, we would we would fight for gender rights. We would fight for, or we would participate in their movement of any ethnic community or any caste community mm -hmm. that needs their human rights. Certainly aligning yourself with the struggle for human rights, regardless of who might be actually struggling for it. That's correct. Interesting. We're unfortunately going to have to break for a moment, but we'll come back and speak about the Gatka, the martial art, explicitly within the Nihang Sikhs. I'm speaking with Jaswinder Singh, Gatka instructor at Shaheed Baba Deep Singh Akara. We'll be back with more on this topic right after this short break. You're watching 3D Dialogue. the Rogers Television Viewer Response Line at 1-800-939-7787 or visit our website with your comments 